All right, guys, so originally I wasn't going to make a video on this because I was like, oh, surely it's not going to be that big of a deal. But then I started to get into thinking and I started getting some ideas and I was like, this actually could be really cool. Now, just to preface, I don't really know a whole lot about like Hololive and the whole like VTuber community thing. I do know that what about like a year ago, uh, Pekka over here apparently did like a lot of streams for FGO and she like was absolutely clapping up the gotcha. I saw some of her polls and they looked absolutely ridiculous, but because of that, I'm assuming that's why they're bringing her in for this. But I think we actually might get to see some really cool stuff for the eighth anniversary because, you know, we've done some speculation on it. We're like, hey, are we gonna get Comet Saws? Are we gonna get Olga? Are we gonna get Solomon? Maybe we'll get somebody from, you know, another type moon uh, type property or something along those lines. But it does seem like this might be kind of a gas anniversary. Like, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up too hard, but this is the first time they've done something like this. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this is the first time that they've gone out of their way to go and collaborate with an actual content creator. Although, from what I understand, Hololive is more of like a company that manages a lot of different creators, but still they're working with content creators over here and this is funny because i was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day and i was mentioning how like yeah like this would be really cool if they started doing stuff like this i would love to see them start to reach out to some creators and maybe lisengel might be starting to do that so i don't know just wanted to give a couple of my thoughts on this and some cool things that i think we might be able to see because of this whole a collaboration thing over here as per usual if you like the daily fgo content make sure you leave a like subscribe all that good stuff also if you want to see me play fgo live i usually play that every weekday starting at 6 p.m eastern standard time but dude i don't know the summer has been absolutely just per clapping me right now and i keep getting uh sick so usually every weekday at 6 p.m eastern standard time usually that's what i'm streaming but some days i just get absolutely cooked by i guess the summer weather but anyway let's gonna talk about this now I know the first thing that everybody's going to be like really hoping for, I'm imagining the cope that we're gonna see from a lot of people is are we going to get a unit? Could we see a unit for this eighth anniversary that is somewhat related to this Hololive whole collaboration? And I'm gonna tell you right now, I think that is near impossible. I just do not think that that would actually be a thing. It doesn't seem like FGO is super conducive to these types of collaborations. Keep in mind that they do collaborations, quote unquote, but they're usually with themselves, right? Or with other type moon properties. Think of like the Fate Zero event, the arcade event, or think of like CCC, stuff like that, right? Even Kara no Kyokai, right? These are all type moon properties. And I don't think they're going to do a collaboration unit uh, with Hololive. I think it'd be very cool, even though for me, I don't really care about it all that much. I still think it'd be very cool to see them potentially do stuff like that because I know that has been something that people have been wanting to see for the longest time. We've all been like, dude, I would love to get an FGO with realistically anything, bro. Give me Goku and FGO and I'll be happy, right? Dragon Ball is not even one of my favorite series, but I would love to get like a Goku in here. I would love to see like an Arknights collaboration. I would love to see anything along those lines. I think it'd be very cool. And so if they did do this, even though I think the chance of it is quite literally 0%, but I'm happy to be wrong on that one. If they did do that, then I think we could start to expect other collaborative things with other properties. And I think that'd be very cool. What I do think we might actually get to see is something like this, like an exclusive CE that might come out uh, for the actual eighth anniversary, because I can't really see them porting this over for our eighth anniversary, like think two years down the road when we finally get all this, I can't see them doing this same thing because I just don't think it's very likely that you go and you grab her again for the NA version. Maybe you would grab the um, one of the English people, like for people on the English side of Hololive, something like that. But I think something like this would be very cool because technically, even though it's not a servant, it's not as exciting as like even getting some friend point gotcha servant where they're like, oh, we're gonna make her like a one star cast so that everybody can get their grubby little mitts on, right? Even if they don't do that, it would still be cool because technically it would be something from outside FGO, not related to it in any way that is in the game now. And I think that could lead to some very cool things going forward. But I do think it probably would end up being like a JP exclusive thing. We would probably get our own different CE when our eighth anniversary would come around. But at the end of the day, it's not like it's really going to matter all that much because keep in mind, these CEs aren't like super nuts to butts broken or anything. They're usually just like, 
here's a little commemorative thing for the anniversary. And I think it's cool that we on the English side of things got one that was exclusive from JP. But then again, since we now know that they'll do that, maybe JP will start to get like exclusive uh, command codes or exclusive craft essences. I think that could be very, very cool on that one. Speaking of command codes, I think if they really wanted to do, I don't know, this meet in the middle of, well, we don't want to put out a full servant because maybe that just doesn't fit in line with what they want to do with FGO as a property, but we don't want to do something like a CE that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. What if we did like a command code or something? I think that could be very cool or potentially something else that they introduced for 8th anniversary, right? Because they introduce new stuff like that all the time. I don't know, a super CE, I don't know. Just think of some other add-on thing they could do for uh, face cards or maybe it's an equip you can equip to your CEs or something nuts like that, right? Whatever they wanna do that might actually make a difference. I think that would also be very cool to kind of commemorate this collaboration over here. Uh, which speaking of the collaboration, one of the last things I kind of want to talk about here is that I do actually like that FGO is now essentially reaching out to different content creators. And I wonder if we could see stuff like that moving forward. There are quite a few gotcha games that like to partner with uh, people on YouTube and Twitch. And they'll usually do stuff where like, oh, if your guys are watching your stream, they can get X, Y, or Z material. Or, you know, you can do this little collaborative thing right where we give you like a link or we give you a code and if they use yours and everybody gets like some material and stuff i don't know how likely that is to happen this might just be a one-off thing that we never get anything on it again but i like the idea that they're also reaching out and they're i don't know trying to do stuff with the community because uh correct me if i'm wrong but pekara doing her stream about a year ago that had no ties to fgo at all like she just decided to play the game one day and they're now like hey you decided to play our game and it was very popular let's like make something happen for our anniversary and so i think that's very cool it kind of shows that they're also taking note of what's going on in the community and i don't know i'm hoping to see that maybe we get to see more of that moving forward now if you're an NA player, what does this really mean for you? Nothing really at this point because this is going to be on JP, but I don't know. I'll be covering it as it starts to happen. Obviously, whenever the um, the live stream goes live in a couple weeks here for JP, and not even a couple weeks, what is it like? No, it's about like two weeks away, but so I had to look at my calendar. I was like, no, 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 I think it's about like two weeks away, but uh, when this does happen, I'll be covering it. I'll be very excited to see what they do because I think worst case scenario for me is they just bring her on, have her do a couple of pulls, and they don't do anything. I think the CE would be like the most realistic thing they could do as kind of like a collaborative thing over here. But I don't know, like it's just really cool. I think this is a very sick thing. I think it potentially has um, good implications for the future, but we'll have to see what they do during the live stream and how they handle this. But I'm like, not bad, Lysengo. Okay, you guys are starting to kind of get back. You're, you're kind of getting into gear over here on JP, starting to have a kind of consistent flow of stuff, even though the tower, I think, has been here for a little too long. The last couple of events have been nice, right? The collab with Arcade, then a Lotto, and then now we have like a tower event, which I know only I like. I know nobody else likes towers, but for me, these are fun events to play because I like to use different servants. But now we're also getting like a first for us where we're getting like an actual collab -y type thing for, you know, FGO and Hololive. So I don't know. I'm going to be really excited to see what uh, this kind of folds into. Something I would kind of like to know for those of you guys that are more into the Hololive side of things. I actually don't know how popular Pekora is in like the whole of Hollow Live, like I know she's definitely up there, but I don't know if she's like the super big deal that we got her doing this collab or if people are like, well, she's like the third most popular person, so it's good, but you know, not the craziest. Or maybe she is like the most popular person and then it's like, no, it's a crazy big deal that we got her. It's basically like getting a minor celebrity or something. So you guys can let me know that in the comments down below as well. That way I can kind of be a little bit more informed when this actually drops. But with all that being said, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for that sweet daily FGO content. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, late guys.